I woke up early for this. Hey there guys, Primus Reviews here, and yeah, I I don't know how to start this video. Um, the Hasbro Pulse stream is still going on, but the Transformers section ended, but I, I, I don't know how to feel. I really don't. I am not against on what they showed, I'm just against on what they didn't show, what they didn't say or reveal. And what do I mean by that? They didn't reveal... Or, or talk about any Studio Series figures. Now, before I even start, I know that there's more lines than Studio Series, and I completely understand that part. It's just, I knew coming into this live that they were gonna show some legacy. I was expecting some legacy, not the whole hour being legacy, and then 20 minutes of it being a Grimlock that I'm not gonna buy because it's over a thousand dollars. I'm not, I'm not freaking Mark Zuckerberg or stuff. I, I'm not him. I, I don't know. To start off, they did show us the Bumblebee and Optimus from Animated, and yeah, it looks good in hand. They both do look good. I was happy to see those figures. That was, uh, that's what I was expecting. And man, again, they did deliver. They both do look great, and they both do look fantastic. And yeah, they said that Optimus is a bit jacked. But I don't see any other way they could have done it. It does look really good. And Bo be the same thing. It, it's, it's my boy B. He looks really good. And again, I did watch the Transformers animated show growing up. So that does have a little attachment to my heart. And then they showed off the what is it, Rescue Bots Chase. Which that one caught me by surprise. Because I did watch Rescue Bots when I was small. And even though I wasn't like deep into it like I was with Transformers Prime. I still liked the show. Um, but yeah, Chase, really good. And... That's about it. Like, I'm not happy, but I'm not sad. You know, I'm kind of in the middle. Because again, I know that there's more lines than Studio Series, but the fact that they didn't even drop a hint on Studio Series, not even saying, oh, we're working on this behind, in, in the back, so stay tuned for that. They didn't even mention nothing of Studio Series. All they said was the legacy stuff of the new line and that was it. Now, I'm not saying in what manner whatsoever that the line's gonna fail because I did see some really cool figures, but they just don't spark my interest. And, and I get it, it's the 40th year anniversary of Transformers and I completely understand that. But they could at least just said something, just something about Studio Series, even if it's like a small drop. Instead, I'm talking about Studio Series, they just talked about 20 minutes of a Transforming Grimlock that's been on pre-order for about a month now and and that I'm not going to get whatsoever. Like, I don't understand. And I, I, I guess it's just the reasoning, I, 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 I don't know. Again, I just wish that they would have at least said something. I get it, New Line Legacy United, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to see where they go with it. It's just, I'm not interested in that and... A handful of people are not interested in that either. And the thing is, people were excited for this life and people came out of that life excited. But then there was a handful of people who weren't excited whatsoever. They felt bored. They said that the life was mid. And for me, I kind of see it half and half because it's cool to see figures that you've been waiting for. But then there's some people who weren't bored with those whatsoever. They, they want to spend their money on figures that they, who they know. Not figures that they don't know because they're not going to buy it. They're going to become shelf formers. I don't know. I kind of wish that this live wasn't wasn't a, so much of like a live like happening in real time. I wish they would have pre-recorded everything. So that way they could have had more time to just talk about any upcoming stuff that they were going to work on or anything. Because again, with the live, you got to focus on the audio. Because they really don't want anything to mess up during this live. So they got to keep everything compacted and in time. And I felt like that they were rushed. I'm just being honest. I felt like they were rushed. Again, I'm not saying that they did a bad job. They didn't. It's just I wish they would have revealed stuff that we were hyped for. 
like anything and also windblade that's right behind me right now i just re i remember we windblade i'm actually excited for as well because that uh, that's a cool figure but other than that i don't know anybody else i don't know the core class figures that they showed i don't know the the tigertron i don't know anything about that i just remember something that they said you remember when they remember when we had the issue of open packaging they have done it again but for leader class legacy fit did they not learn their lesson? People are stealing heads, stealing accessories, stealing stuff with open packaging. I'd rather it not have that open packaging whatsoever on the leader class. You wanna know why? Cause at least I know when I find the leader class or when people find the leader class, they'll be like, oh yeah, I found them. I don't gotta worry about people taking off his head, taking off the accessories. No, now they gotta worry about that. When they said that, I was in shock because it's 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 102 of Optimus Prime all over again. It's it's the mainline Optimus uh, from Rise of the Beast. It's the mainline Optimus Prime. It's basically any open packages that you see people steal. That is not the way to go. It is not. No, what are you doing? I know this is probably a controversial video, but I felt like I need to say it. I, 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 it's coming from me and all you're gonna get from this channel is just brutally honest reviews. This is basically, I, I don't like lying to you guys because I feel like you guys deserve the truth from me. I never lie to you guys. So when I'm, what I'm saying is coming from me. I'm not, it's not no fake script or nothing for me to give you. No, this is me. I feel like that they dropped the ball and they should have talked about at least somewhat of Studio Series because again, Studio Series is your most famous line. Legacy is all right. It's a good side thing, but not a lot of people focus on legacy. They focus on studio series. You're doing a great job with the gamer edition. You're doing a great job on the live action. No one really gets legacy. Every time I go to a store, all I see are shell formers of legacy and earth spark. Now, I, I know that there's some for studio series, but you rarely see that. You only see at least one figure being a shell former. I see multiple figures of Legacy being a shell former. I don't know. I, I don't know. The live was okay. But I felt like it's my fault that I put so much high expectations for it. And yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sad. I kind of wish that they showed more. And I, I, I don't know what else to say except that... I'm not against on what they showed again. I'm just against on what they didn't show. That's all I'm trying to say. I really wish they talked about more studio series. Just something like a like a even if it's a small hit, just let the hate come and show up. Let them come. Let them come. Ayo, I just I really wish that they talked more about studio series because again, people want studio series. Now, I know that there's more lines in Studio Series. There's Legacy, Legacy Unite, all that good stuff. But people want Studio Series because that's what they like. They don't like Legacy. They like Studio Series. Now, I'm not wishing on Legacy's downfall. I just wish that they could have talked about Studio Series because... I don't know. I, I mean, the only thing that I'm excited for, again, are Bumblebee, Optimus Prime from Animated. Both of them. Chase... And Windblade. That's it. Everything else, I'm not gonna buy because I, I, I yeah, it's, it's. I don't have any interest in it. And I, I know what you're saying on the screen. Then don't buy it. Then why are you complaining? I'm only complaining because I wish that again they would have showed studio series or even talked about it. The whole hour was just about Legacy United. There's other lines than Legacy. Their studio series as well. But you know what? Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I am. But I really hope you guys can see my point of view. And I really hope that you guys can just see it that way. This is no shade to Hasbro whatsoever. They're doing a great job, doing a fantastic job. I hope they keep doing a great job. It's just, I'm disappointed right now. I'm also not the only one that came out of that stream disappointed. A lot of people came out of that stream disappointed. So yeah, controversial video, but 
like I said, all you're gonna get is the truth from me, and I wish they showed more. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that way you guys don't miss any uploads that I do. And yeah, I wish again they showed the students here. I wish they didn't spend 20 minutes on a Robo Sun Grimlock that I'm never gonna get at all because it's worth a liver and well, technically two livers. Um, but I really wish they showed more, and I really, I, I get high, I had high expectations that were diminished. And I woke up early for nothing. So, there's that. But on that, it's been Proper Reviews. Remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So, I'll make sure you guys on the next one till all or one. Bye!